Hello there guys, welcome to a brand new FIFA 22 series on the channel. I hope you guys are excited for this, a lot of work has got into this. Let's get into it and show you what it's all about. And so then guys, the idea behind this series is we're going to have the past Barcelona team, that's going to include icons, we're going to have the future Barcelona team, so you're going to say... How can you have a future Barcelona team when you don't know the signing? So what we've done is we've kept the Barcelona team as it is, but gave the players their potential. So I'm going to show you guys first now Barcelona, the current Barcelona team, with the players at their best potential. And here you guys can see then we have the current Barcelona team, but with their potential, guys. That's why we're sort of getting the name Future Barcelona, because if they're going to keep the same players, supposedly this is going to be a future team and their potential. So we've got Ansu Fati. 90 rated, Pedri 91, Ricky Pirage 85, Dembele 88, Garcia and Arojo up both high in the 80s there. You've got Gavi on the bench as well. So again, this is the side that's going to be taken on the past Barcelona team. And let's go ahead and check them out. So that was the first Barcelona team. Now let's go ahead and check out the second Barcelona team. And straight across, again, Barcelona once again with mods. We've been able to change, um, I think it was uh, Cadiz that we changed to basically Barcelona once again. Give them a retro kit as well. And we have got icons in this. And now, just a quick disclaimer, there's a lot of icons that could have gone into this team. Like, I mean, I, even players like Gary Lineker, I haven't fitted into the team because if I did, it'd be on the reserves. But here you go. You can see the team right now. Some players I have gone ahead and created. So you've got Abidal in here. Now, how I've got Abidal, uh, Dani Alves and Valdez, that their sort of overalls is what I've done is I've gone back. Look through every FIFA from FIFA 10 up to the FIFA now and see which FIFA they had the highest overall. So for Valdez, I think it was FIFA 10, his rating was 87. Now I've not included too many years, informs, anything like that, just base cards. And so Valdez, FIFA 10 was his highest rating. I've copied that and there you guys can see we've got that rating. So again, mainly full of icons this team. It's looking very good. Iniesta obviously already in the game, boosted him up, got him to 91 overall. And now these teams, obviously Messi in the team as well, guys. Obviously now we've passed Barcelona player um, playing with this amazing team. So again, we're going to have these two teams now go head-to-head -head and see who comes out on top. And also then, guys, we're not just going to have the one-off game in this. We're going to go a step further as well. We're going to go into career mode. Simmer season, now, of course, Cadiz, the team that we took over for the Icon team, they're not in Champions League. But obviously, original Barcelona are. So we're just going to sim, see how both teams get on, see which team wins La Liga, who does better than each other. Then also, Champions League, we're going to see how Barcelona can go, how far they can go with their players at the best potential. And so then guys, we are looking forward to this video because again, this is a brand new series to the channel. We are going to still be doing rebuilds on the channel, but again, I want to try and mix it up and do something new. And obviously now we've got P FIFA on the PC, mods are coming as well. I want to do something new, guys. So if you're enjoying this and you want to see more videos like this, more episodes of this, let me know down below by hitting the like button, also subscribing, but also comment down below what teams we should do next. Should we do Man United? Should we do Arsenal again? Let me know down below in the comments. So for this then, of course, then past Barcelona are going to go with the home kit. We're going to get the original Barcelona with the away kit right now because I could put them both in home. But I don't think there's any way of... So yeah, it's too much of a kit clash, guys. Like, literally the same colours. Uh, so, I'll go with home and away, of course. Let's go into this right now. Obviously, I can't go into team management. How you guys see the teams is how they're going to start. And, obviously, any subs or anything gets changed. That's by the AI, not by me. But let's get into this. See who comes out on top. And now, I have a course then, guys. I'm going to head and set this to a Champions League final. Because, of course, why not? It's a one-off video. Let's get into it right now. Barcelona v Barcelona. Um, yeah, it's, it's weird seeing that, got to be honest, but uh, I am intrigued right now because originally going to this video is going to just be the past team with the icons, you know, against the current Barcelona side, but then me and someone else was thinking, well, you know, the current Barcelona team wouldn't stand much of a chance, like not, you know, it'd be nice to see the underdogs come through, but putting them at their potential does give us a big chance here. Now, here we go into this right now, and like I said, with mods, it's allowed us to have two Barcelona home kits, I'm still surprised seeing them right now come out with um, one with yellow with Barcelona on, one with blue with Barcelona on. But it's good to see. Here we go. Let's get into this right now. Comment down below who you guys reckon is going to come out on top. I'm going to give a, a prediction right now. And, oh, it's tough. It's easy to go icons, but then part of me thinks, you know, the current Barcelona side, you've got Ansu Fati 90 rated, Pedri 91. But it's got to be the icon team, hasn't it? I mean, like, Messi's in that team as well. Do you know what I mean? Like, you've got Messi, you've got Puyol, you've got Xavi, Iniesta... Um, who we got CDM? I can't remember who we got CDM. Um, CDM. Oh, it might be Ronald. I think it's actually Chavi CDM, is it? Ronaldinho? Oh, I can't mind. I can't mind, guys. <laughs> but uh, obviously, Ronald Coleman in the team as well. Um, just been sacked in real life. But uh, but yeah, let's get into this right now. Okay, I can skip this. Let's go. Here we go. Let's sit back. I'm going to sit back and watch this and see who comes out on top. Frank de Jong plays it for Aguero. Okay, not bad from Aguero already. Pedri. 
Ansu Fati's looking for the ball maybe here. Okay, Pedri's just going to take it on his own. Maybe not. Ansu Fati. Um, obviously, with Aguero up front, crossing into the box, surely aren't going to be a thing. And Ronaldinho tracking back, getting the job done. Dani Alves wins it off Pedri. Here we go, Juan Cruyff forward, Messi. Ronaldinho, what a great ball back here. Messi got space to run into, just keeps it in. Okay, here we go. What's, what's Messi going to do? Jordi Alba stopping that one, but he got a corner now. Okay, so Chevy is going to be on corners here, guys. Let's have a see. Where's he going to aim for this one? He's got a few tall players in that box right now to choose from. Who is he going to aim for? And if, you know, a future Barcelona going to get this one cleared away, and they do. Dest of all people. Just free header away there. But now Ronaldinho. Ronald Koeman. Ronaldinho, okay. Ronaldinho, I expect a goal from him in this game. Messi. Henri, Ronaldinho, what did I say? 1-0, I expected a goal. I expected a goal from Ronaldinho, and he scores, and he's got the classic celebration as well. There you go, 1-0. Pass Barcelona, take the lead in this game, and I was surprised when I seen Dest head it away, but then he heads it away to Ronaldinho, and then, like I say here, great play, Henri to Messi to Ronaldinho, but it's in the back of the net. Okay, Pedri, that's not a bad ball at all. Okay, Henri, again, pass Barcelona, seems to be playing with a little bit more... Uh, well, maybe aggression, because that's twice now. I've seen attacking players drop back and start defending. And here we go now. Henri plays it inside. Iniesta, maybe looking for a ball for Cruyff. Okay, we've got players running here. Ronaldinho, Ronaldinho, maybe second for him. And okay, he goes wide in the end. Guerrero wins the header. Pedri into Dembele now. Dembele looking for the run of Ansu Fati, maybe. Okay, he gets it to him. Back to Dembele. Could we see a goal here from future Barcelona, balls get played down, Dembele, I thought he was going to play the back pass, I thought he was going to play that back, okay, keeping it on the wings at the moment, great pass inside, the finish, oh, back post from Agro, Valdez, great, great save, Ansu Fati with a header, falls down now, and okay, goes out for a corner, not bad, you know, okay, so I'm guessing it's going to be Pedri now on the corner, and okay, it is going to be Pedri, okay, edge of the box, Iniesta dealing with that one, Okay, as he dealt with it though, okay, we've still got this now, Rojo, Ansu Fati, Aguero, is he going to go for goal, is he going to play the pass off? He tries it, Ansu Fati is going to take it on his own and it's in! Ansu Fati makes it 1-1 in this game, guys. This is, uh, I'm enjoying this, you know, sit back and watch this, I love this. And there we go, 1-1, this is a lot uh, closer probably than I thought it was going to be. I thought maybe Ronaldinho might make it too quite early on, we've seen, shot went wide, but this time here, the pressure was kept on, Aguero's done so well. And there you go, Ansu Fati just makes the most of it and gets the ball and the goal. So now, are we going to see them pass Barcelona, get a goal before half time to, you know, take back their lead in this game? Now, obviously, one thing to note is obviously the subs bench. Uh, pass Barcelona, you've got the likes of uh, Maradona on there, by the way. Guardiola's on there as well. So you've got some amazing players. Okay, Frank de Jong able to deal with that one. But uh, so is future Barcelona. You know, Gavi's on there, 85 rated. He won't be a bad sub to bring on at some point. Um, but here we go, Iniesta, Henri, just playing down the left-hand side. Now inside, Xavi, not a bad pass at all. You and Cruyff. It'd be amazing if he pulled off the Cruyff turn at some point. And Arojo dealing with that. Dembele plays it forward. Okay, Ricky Pirish, not too sure. Maybe that's part of the plan in the end. Dest, Dembele, okay, was involved in the first goal. Pass inside, Ricky Pirish now. De Aguero, oh, I thought he was going to turn and shoot. And Coleman, but he falls now. Oh, Puyol. Gets the pass back. Johan Cruyff into Iniesta. Henri, I thought he was going to make a run. Trying to make a run behind. Cruyff does get it out wide to him. About to go to half-time here. Could we see a late goal? Cruyff crossing to the box. Arojo dealing with that. And Pedri heading it on. And now we go to half-time. And it's 1-1. Now here we go then. The start of the second half. This is where it all matters. Which team could be lifting the Champions League trophy at the end of this one? Henri, I feel like I've not seen too much from him in this game. Uh, I feel like I've seen more of Messi, Ronaldinho and Cruyff, to be honest. Okay, Cruyff. Messi's free, to be honest. Okay, maybe not so much anymore. Cruyff does get it out wide to him. Back inside for Cruyff now. Plays the pass in the yes, He's going to go for goal and he does go for goal. But an easy block there. And okay, Ronaldinho and Frank de Jong. Frank de Jong comes out on top. Vicky Pirich forward Aguero. This is not bad here. Back into Ricky Pirich now. Great pass. Pedri. And it's in. It's 2-1 in this game. It's 2-1. Future Barcelona are in the lead, guys. Pedri, one of the up-and-coming stars, of course. 90 rate, 91 rated, sorry. Highest rated player in the team, by the way. And it makes it 2-1. Wow, okay. What a turn of events, guys. I think maybe maybe pass Barcelona. Maybe look to get some subs on here. Maybe get Guardiola on that CDM spot. I'm not too sure. But uh, Pedri there, 2-1 now. Oh, Henri's done amazingly well. Henri's done so well on the left-hand side. And now he's got a chance to work it inside. He's doing just that. Henri... In towards Ronaldinho. Ronaldinho plays it on the edge of the box. Cruyff. Messi. Oh, Ronaldinho does pick it back up though. Where's he going to play this one? Back in towards Messi now. Messi, where's he looking for the pass? Okay, Messi might take it. Oh, I thought he's going to take it all the way on his own there. 
stopped in the end. There we go, pass forward, Aguero, the run on the, run on the left hand side from Ansu Fati, plays it back inside, Aguero, oh no, Pedri, oh wow, I thought that was 3-1, I thought that was 3-1, I tell you what, Pedri, unreal guys. Valdez with the save. Now, of course, just want a quick note here. The players that I've created have matched the height, what foot they are, and all you know, weak foot, skill, skill moves, all that sort of stuff. Obviously, in terms of how they look, I've just gone for a generic face in the end. I, obviously, I couldn't match it identical. Um, but here we go. Okay, there's going to be a sub. Who's it for? It's for the pass Barcelona team. Maradona's coming on. Maradona is about to come on. And obviously, future Barcelona Depay is going on for Aguero. Okay, I feel like Aguero's done all right so far for them. But here we go, Maradona's on now. Could that be the difference in this game? They know how much is at stake here. Crosses in from Pedri. Cruyff back to the goalkeeper. Back out wide though, Pedri now. Here we go, Dembele in towards. Frankie Dion goes for goal. Valdez with a save. And also you're probably thinking as well then guys, how did you pick certain players for this? And now it was quite difficult because obviously Barcelona have some amazing players in their past. Like you could go back into the 1950s and probably pick out some you know, better players that might be in this team. That are in there now, but obviously it's getting a rating for them. So all I sort of had to go off was past players from FIFA 10 onwards. That's why like Abidal Valdez are in the team. Because if I pick a different different goalkeeper, how do I get a rating for them? And here we go, Messi now. Okay, finds Maradona. Oh, Maradona looking for the pass inside. Doesn't get it. Chavido heads it back now. Joan Cruyff should go for goal, and he does. Okay, picks it up again. Here we go, Iniesta now. Iniesta, where is he looking to play this one? Where is he going to go with it? Okay, tries to take on his own. Wins a corner. So, Chavi's lining up then for this corner. Are we going to see another sub? And we are going to see another sub. I thought we would. 78 minutes played. And here we go. Abidal's going off. Michael Lordrop is coming on. Okay, another icon making his way into the team here. You know, they need, they need a goal. They need to get into extra time. Can they do it or not? Let's have a see. They've got a corner now. Crosses in from Xavi. Not the best of crosses in my opinion, but it falls now to Messi, I do believe. Coleman, what's he going to do with this one? Coleman, could he get Barcelona back in this? Coleman's going all the way. Okay, never mind. Coleman now, I think he's just waiting for a run here. Okay, we get Iniesta. Xavi's there. Xavi, go on. Oh, Henri. Henri, 2-2. Two, two. Oh, to save, going to save. Messi now into Henri. In the middle, surely 2-2. Two, two. And it is 2-2. Two, two. There we go. Xavi scores. The future Barcelona. Future Barcelona manager, guys. Rumours. I don't know if it's I don't know if it's confirmed at this point. I don't know. But uh, there we go. It's 2-2 in this game. So we're looking like could be extra time or could be a late winner. Could be a late winner here. Henri tries it in the near post, fails, gets it cleared though. And then into towards Xavi. And he has to score there, and he does. So what do you guys reckon then? Do you reckon it's gonna be a late winner in this game? I reckon it's extra time all day, this one. Unless. Unless there's a special player that pops up, you know, you just never know in this. Because, again, there's so many players on this pitch that could pop up with a goal. I would expect if both sides to maybe make, make some more changes in their team. Like, I thought maybe I'd see Gavi come on for Barcelona. Maybe for Ricky Pirage or something like that. But not to be the case. But going into extra time at this rate, subs are definitely going to be made here. Johan Cruyff. Okay, maybe a late goal. Messi now going down his right-hand side. Heel to heel. Looking for, okay, Jordi Alba stopping that one. And there you go. It's going to be extra time in this one. Oh, and you can see here then, guys. We're at actually half time right now. And the, what team is it right now? What are we thinking? Uh, past Barcelona team. There's that many Barcelonas right now. Past Barcelona, they're lining up like this. Which is interesting because as you guys see in the team sheet, I had them down for 4-3-3 false nine. They've gone ahead and changed it right now. And they're going with this, which I'm guessing, because they took Abidal off, they went ahead and changed their uh, formation to fit better. And okay, that's I never thought that AI would go ahead and do that, but they have. And now they're playing through at the back. Okay, so pass Barcelona, we've gone ahead and made a change. R9 coming on for Johan Cruyff. He's going to lead on line right now for them, um, which again, okay, maybe a chance for him right now. Go on, R9. Gets the ball heel. Uh, get ball here, sorry. Messi making the run. Ronaldo, where's he going to play this one? Here we go, Henri. Lord Rope. Okay, where are we looking right now? Inside. Oh, R9. Go on, win that back. The finish is there and it's in. There you go, an early goal. The super sub has made the difference in this one. There you go, 3-2. Could that be the winner? Could there be more action in this game yet? We don't know. But what a bit of build-up here. You can see the pass inside. Pass once again. Messi, Ronaldo does so well. Just to win it back there. I think off a Rojo as well. I think that is a Rojo or a Garcia. It's one of the two. I think, it, yeah, it's a Rojo. Wins it back off him. Fires it in to Stegen, nowhere near it. And Sufati in towards Pedri now. Memphis Depay, they know they need a goal in this one now. Both teams sort of know where they stand right now. Obviously before, both teams, you know, you could sort of say needed a goal. Um, but both teams right now, one of them knows they can sit back and defend if they want to. The other team knows they have to attack and get that third goal. Xavi in towards Maradona. 
Plays it. Oh, that's great. This is great. Oh, Ronaldo. What's he going to do with this one right now? Okay, Messi. Messi stayed on the pitch this whole time. Where's he going to look to play this one? Frank de Jong. I tell you what, he's been standout player so far for future Barcelona. You know, Pedri, you could say, but... Frank Young's saved him a lot of times. And now it all comes down to this then, the last 15 minutes. Are we going to see penalties? I wish we could, guys. I wish there was going to be a penalty shootout at the end. Just to see, okay, Gavi is going to come off a peerage. Yeah, like I said, if they weren't going to make that change, I was going to be surprised. So Gavi's now on, and again, his potential, flat line potential is 85. Now, you could go into Caremo, by the way, and obviously with dynamic potential, get into a 96, 92, whatever. But the base potential is 85, so that's what I've got ahead and put him to. Oh, okay. Oh, that's not too bad. But Dest stops them at the... Steps them on their track. Now a chance to counter. Here we go now. Gavi is going to make the run. Pass up now. Memphis Depay chips it over. Pedri. Okay, Ansu Fati. He's just got to stay on side. Pedri now is going to get to Ansu Fati. Trying to get it back to him, but defended well. Oh, Ronaldo. Miles ahead in front here. This game could be put to bed. A pass across, and it is. There you go. Henri scores. The, the flag's down as well. And I think it's going to go to pass Barcelona. It's going to go to them. 4-2. Surely, future Barcelona don't have two goals in them. i got to say, since um, past Barcelona scored that first one, I am seen future Barcelona have many chances. And Ronaldo just plays a simple pass across. Henri into the back of the net. And there you go. Is this one over? Dembele up toward... Okay, we've got, Mem we've got Memphis Depay on it right now. Could we see a quick succession of goals here that leads to penalties? Let's have a see. Depay's got to play that. Okay. Anthony Fati's there in the end. Pass inside. Pedri... Dani Alves dealing with that. And okay, maybe a counter-attack. Dest. No. There we go. Full time in this one, guys. Past Barcelona. Walk away with a win. What did you guys predict? Again, it was it was a difficult one, i got to admit. Because, you know, looking at both teams, obviously look at the icons and you go, they're clearly favourites. But again, Ansu Fati, 90 rated. Pedri, 91. Gavi, 85. Frank de Jong, 92, I think. So they had some really strong players themselves. But then looking at the bench, you could probably say... Past Barcelona probably had the advantage there. And you can see Maradona coming on, Ronaldo coming on, Michael Lordrock coming on as well. And it falls to them in the final. Now let's go ahead then, guys, and sim a season in career mode. And I have got away right now how we're going to get past Barcelona in to the Champions League. So, of course, I can just edit groups and put them in. Um, so I'm not going to play as any of them. I'm going to go ahead and just play as Getafe. I'm just going to sim anyway, so I won't be doing anything. And one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to disable the first transfer window. Now, of course, you're going to have the January transfer window... I'm hoping they don't sign anyone because regens and uh, regens, sorry, icons are going to be in the game. They're going to be in the free agents. So I'm hoping no one buys them. But if they do, I can't really stop them from doing that. So let's go into this right now. Disabled that. Got past Barcelona in the Champions League. Let's have a see right now what happens. As like I mentioned, guys, obviously we've got icons in the game right now. You can see them right here. Obviously, there's so many more players we could have had in that Barcelona team. Obviously, one of them being Gary Lineker. But I feel like we had enough past Barcelona players in there. So I'm hoping right now. Come January, no teams will buy any of these icons, but you never know they could. But if they do, they've got to spend a lot of money. So we're going to start off then by simming all the way to January the 1st. And we're going to stop off. Obviously, I can't see too much information on the other teams, but I can see how they're doing in La Liga. I can see who La Liga's top scorer is, Champions League, all that sort of stuff. So let's go ahead, sim, and I'll catch up with you guys when we get there. Now, here we are then, guys. We are at January the 1st right now. You can see uh, Gaddafi, we're in the bottom three, but that doesn't really matter. So going into this, I'm just thinking, how are we going to know which team is which? Um, I don't know. We're going to have to try and figure that one out together, guys. But here we go. Going in La Liga. Let's have a see where both teams are. Okay, so Barcelona in first. Okay, so you got Barcelona in fourth there, but they got a Cadiz badge. So, that's how we know. That's the past Barcelona team. So, past Barcelona in fourth place right now. That's not good. Normal Barcelona with the highest potentials. They're in first place, unbeaten as well this season on 48 points. And let's go ahead then and check out the top scorers in La Liga. So, the top scorer is going to be a Yosa Balfarel Sociedad. Now, you've got Ansu Fati there for, obviously, you know, normal Barcelona. Any other standout names there? You've got Thierry Henry for past Barcelona. Um, any other scorers in here to take note of? It's so hard. Johan Cruyff there with six goals. Xavi with um, six goals as well. But it's so hard with these badges, guys. I'm just trying to look now and just sort of fine read. Any other names? You've got Dembele there at the top uh, for future Barcelona. Um, but, no, Ansu Fati seems to be the scorer at both. Um, you got De Jong there in terms of assists. He's got five. Um, looking down this list as well. Okay. 
Okay, so you can see there, past Barcelona have the lower C, a lower case C. So you've got Xavi and Iniesta there. One's on four, one's on three. And this might be where the problem is then, because I don't know what formation past Barcelona are using. We can see Valdez there. He's in eighth place right now. Only three clean sheets this season. To stegen has got seven. Well, let's go ahead down and check out the Champions League. And now, obviously, for this one, we know um, which team is which, because we know Atleti was in a group with Liverpool. So that's how we know... The team that's in the group of Atletico Madrid are the past team. So let's go down here. So the past Barcelona, they got in second place 10 points. I'll tell you what, guys, they're not really, um, you know, blowing me away. I thought after that 4 2 win that started today's video, I thought maybe, but there you go. Future Barcelona, top of their group, 13 points. Level on points with Bayern Munich, by the way. Obviously, a better goal difference. But now, this is where the difficult part is. Round of 16, how do we tell which one is which? Now let's go ahead then and sim to the end of the season again. I don't know how we're going to check Champions League. How are we going to know which Barcelona reached the final? Right now, I can imagine it's going to be the future Barcelona team that reached the final because they're doing so much better in La Liga and they got top of their group, but you just never know. So I'm going to have to try and see if there's a way I can find out. So I don't really know, guys, but I'll meet you when we get there. I'm actually just thinking then, the only way we're going to actually find out is if we go to the news article section... And say one of the Barcelona's wins it, you'll see one of their players lifting the trophy or sat next to it. So maybe that's one way we could find out. So now, of course, that we know with La Liga, we can tell which team is which here. So we're going into this. We know that past Barcelona were in fourth, future Barcelona are in first place. Let's go up here. And okay, both top two. They're in the top two. Both teams in the top two right now. Let's have a seat. And it's going to be, it's going to be past Barcelona in second place. Missing out by a single point. Future Barcelona do take the title there. Wow, okay. That is very close in the end. Now, in terms of the Copa del Rey, we've seen one Barcelona won it. Again, we don't know which Barcelona this is because I can't go back now and check. There's no way. Do one of them have the lower case C? Um, but they both played each other. Okay, they both played each other in the round of 16. Again, I should have... In future videos, basically, I'm going to implement something. Or maybe I'm going to put FC Barcelona past up future you know we're gonna find a way to tell the difference and so i thought then guys instead of going ahead and checking out the league's top scorers and having all the other teams in there let's check it out this way so starting off with future barcelona let's have a look who their top scorer was and it's gonna be ansu fati there you go 27 goals for him dembele on 20 not a bad season from him um aguero on nine top assister is gonna go to pedri you got frankie de Jong there on eight ansu fati on six best performer now this is gonna be interesting that is going to go to, okay, Mingueza. He's only played one one game, but it's going to go to Ansu Fati on 78. Behind in Dembele. So I think Dembele and Ansu Fati stand out players for them. And now then, guys, to the past Barcelona team. Let's have a look at their top scorer. And that's going to go to Messi. Okay, look at that. Messi can do it in the present Barcelona team when he was there. Past Barcelona team. Doesn't matter. 15 goals this season. Xavi on 13. Maradona on 12. Johan Cruyff on 10. I expected a better return. Henri on 9. Coleman on 8. That's not bad at all, is it? Let's be honest. Assist is going to go to Xavi, expected, Messi on 8, Henri on 5, best performer, here we go, this is going to be interesting, and it's going to go to Messi, okay, 74, Xavi on 73, Lordrop on 72, and then a lot of players on 71, 2 on 70. Now of course then guys, the Champions League, let's have a see which team won it, is it going to be a Barcelona team, and are we going to be able to find out if it is a Barcelona team, which one out of the two it was, here we go, Champions League, and in the end, Bayern Munich won it, 2-1, okay. Both teams knocked out. Okay, did he even make the semi-finals? Where did he get knocked out? Quarter-finals. There you go. One team faced Liverpool, lost 6-2. The other team faced Bayern, lost 3-2. So, one of them, it'd be funny if that top team was the team that was in Liverpool in the group and the bottom team was with Bayern in the group. That'd be interesting. But Or both of them faced, you know, their other groups. You know, you know what I mean, guys? But I'm surprised. Both teams didn't make it to the semis. Obviously, didn't make the final. Very surprised at that. But this is so, like, um, weird, guys. Look, manager month award is to Ronald Coleman after his side has a great run. Um, obviously, Coleman's still in the game, of course, but he's obviously a defender for the other Barcelona team. Um, there's anything else in here we can sort of see. Player of the May, uh, player of the month for May. You can see there and, uh, Dembele and Ansu Fati are there. No sign of any past. Maradona does grab April player of the month award. Um, who else was in there? Mas Messi. Xavi was in there as well. But there we go, guys. I'm going to leave it there for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Again, there's a lot of um, probably unanswered questions right now. Not too many, but, you know, like I say, again, Footways, I use that website to get all the players' overalls. Past overalls, by the way. So, again, Abidal, uh, well, Valdez is the best uh, example. Valdez, his best rating in FIFA was FIFA 10. So, I took that 87, put it into this FIFA, 
Again, I couldn't really use players that far back like Coleman. If he wasn't um, an icon, there's no way I could get his overall. Like, how do I judge that? Is, you know, do you know what I mean, guys? So, again, I have to use players that have been in FIFA but no longer play for Barcelona. Again, there's so many players Neymar didn't feature in this video. He could have easily gone into this past Barcelona team. But again, it's like, do I play Neymar or do I play Henri? And I thought you guys would probably rather see Henri, if I'm going to be honest. So, again, it's tough. Barcelona have had a lot of past players and some amazing players at that. But let me know down below in the comments any other teams you'd like to see. Again, it doesn't really have to be using icons. Again, it could be um, past, um, let's just say, again, just thinking of a team here, past... Um, uh, Man City. Past Man City team versus the future Man City team. And that would be an interesting one. Obviously, there won't be... I don't, would there be an icon in that? I'm not too sure. But again, it would be interesting to see, wouldn't it, guys? So let me know down below in the comments what you thought of this video. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. And hit the subscribe button as well if you want to see more videos like this. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.